was the jump scare I was talking about last episode. God damn it. I fell for it again. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be playing part 4 of Simulacra. Where we left off last time, I think we learned a lot of information about what went on between Greg, Anna, and Yolanda. We actually contacted Yolanda. We have to go to her website, her working website, whatever you want to call it. And we had learned a lot of stuff from her and Greg and from reading Anna's recovered text messages she got from Greg. So apparently Greg got, well, I think he got Yolanda pregnant at one point and Anna found out about it. And I think that's the cause of their breakup. I think, I mean, I would leave somebody like that too if I was her. But yeah, we found out stuff about Greg. We found out a little bit more about Taylor. Well, not too much, not too much to be out here pointing fingers at anybody yet so far. I don't really have any suspects in my opinion. I don't really know. Uh, I hope I'm playing this right, but <laughs> I don't know. But without further ado, let's get on with the video. Okay, so we got uh, some chat, Spark, and the vlog. Yeah, okay, so this was a text message from Greg. He said, what's your deal? Seriously, where is your head at? Yolanda just called me. There's a reasonable explanation. I needed to clear something up. I just want to know the full story. What did I pick last time? I think I clicked there was a reasonable explanation. I, I'm gonna say I just want to know the full story. No. I don't care about your excuses. You have crossed a line. She's pissed and confused. And you brought her into this mess. You brought her into this mess your own self. You should have been fooling around with her while you were fooling around with Anna. That ain't my fault. It's your fault. I'm really sorry I had to be sure it wasn't my idea. I had to be sure. My personal affairs has nothing to do with you. whoop de doo I cheated on Anna. Now it's out in the open. Would you stop digging into my my life and get back on track? Fine, only because you act so nicely. Fine. Just stop and use your head for just one second. Ooh. Have you ever considered that what's his face from Spark is just digging you around? Come on, what do you really know about him? He makes a lot of lewd jokes. He did sidetrack the investigation. He makes a lot of lewd jokes. <laughs> what kind of nutcase would joke about something going, someone going missing? It's like he lacks any kind of empathy. He did sidetrack the investigation. So pointing the finger at me was his idea all along? And you said I'm the one with things to hide? I wouldn't be surprised if he had some kind of criminal record. He just is centric. He's a nice guy if you can overlook those things. At least he is in my opinion. You disagree? I'm not the only one who thinks he's dangerous. Look what I found. Oh yeah, so this is the um the website he sent me about some criminal going around on Spark. Luring women, I think. Attacking women. Okay, yeah. I already read all this in the last episodes. So. Oh! That was the jump scare I was talking about last episode. God damn it. I fell for it again. <laughs> but this time I kind of had it coming. I guess. I wonder why I didn't save. It is talking about the recent rise in spark related crimes. There's a link at the bottom that brings you to your registry site. It could be fake, sounds horrible. It could be fake news, sounds horrible. Ugh. And true. You said that Anna matched with several people on Spark. Anna's notebook mentioned that she met someone. I could feel it, we are getting close. Punch, it, punch in all the names of her Spark matches and see what you can find. So you want me to go on the registry and punch in all the names? Can I actually bust something? Something's bothering me. Something's bothering me. Everything okay? 
Now you can talk to me. You been in the news lately? Where did you get your charming personality? Are you taking this seriously? I know I joke about things a lot, but I'm taking this seriously. Hmm. Sometimes you come off as Lou, your jokes, you joke around a That was in the game. Yeah. I've been told that my timing is the worst. I'm learning to read the room more. Are you hiding anything? Is there more to you than you are letting on? Good to know. Are you hiding anything? Is everything all right? Is Greg giving you any ideas? I don't trust that dude. You shouldn't too. Man, he's offline now. We can't talk to him. Oh, look. Oh, yeah, Stephanie, the girl we matched with last episode. Well, another girl. Did I get my, my settings wrong? Maybe. You swing both ways. You swipe right, didn't you? Yeah, but I wasn't really looking who I was swiping, lol. Since we're here, tell me something. What is it like, Spark? So you join the website, not dating website, and you don't know nothing about it? Take some time getting used to. It's pretty harmless fun. Everyone here sucks. I think I chose something else last time. Is it enough? Is it though? Are we meeting little strangers online? Aren't you scared? Just pick public places. Do some background check first. Have you have a friend follow you? Let's do a background check. <laughs> kind of sucks the fun out of dating, isn't it? LOL. Gosh, what am I doing worrying so much? Worrying so much. I have this fear that the person I am talking to is not who they say they are. Well, that makes both of us. It's a possibility. That's why you met them. That's why you meet them. Nobody will lie about who they are. Hmm. It's a possibility. It would suck so much to find out. How do people do this? You won't know. You won't know it till you tried it. It's just your anxiety talking. I will stop now while I'm ahead. Hmm. You think so? I mean, what is the worst part that could happen? Right? Bad things do happen. Famous last words. Just enjoy yourself. I don't think I should be telling her all this, considering the fact that Greg just sent us a whole article about what's going on on Spark. You think so? Sure. Sure, I will give it a shot. Good luck then. Oh, I got an achievement from the game. Okay, so we got to figure out all these names. Mark, Taylor, well, Taylor, yeah. Pat, Fred, Alex, Dave, Edwin. Are there any more names? I could have sworn it was less than that. Okay, so he blocked me. <laughs> Alex, I don't think we can talk to this person. He's offline. Do I have to read all these text messages? I don't know. Well, I'm going to read it just in case, just so we can figure out who these people are. Tell me, Anna, what are, you, what are your Monday priorities? Movies, yoga, happy houring? Oh, no, no response. You need some rescuing? Sorry I was caught up at work. I'm here. I could pick up. I could pick none of the above, actually. I recently picked up reading. Otherwise, it might be a movie. Awesome. Anything interesting you picked up? You won't believe me if I told you tell philosophy i believe you you're just saying that so you so are you always into the human condition now nah, i'm just going through some stuff right now it just helps me put things into perspective how about you are you as good as advertised you can meet up i can tell you all about it come on i told you something about me it's your turn tell me about your work well i did a, i did it a while back how long was it three years kind of misleading isn't it it got your attention, right? It's all about... It's all part of the game, anyways. Aren't your, pro, aren't your profiles just better versions of ourselves? Call me an idealist, but putting an honest foot forward goes a, a long way. I'm gonna see what this dude want. What's taking so long? Have you cleared the spark guys yet? I'm stuck. I need some help. I don't understand. Just put their name and age and location. How hard is it? So you want me to put their name, age, and location? 
And that's how I asked him. Jennifer. Danny. Bruce. I'm Batman. Ha <laughs> ha! Wait, did I do it? Tammy. Love me. I'm just going hard, everybody. Okay, so. I can't talk to them. Stephanie. Taylor. I can't ask them their last name. The last time they wanted me to ask their last names. Let me go back to this site. You see at the bottom there was like some registry you can check out? Yeah, here it is. First name. <laughs> Should we check Greg? No records found. Oh. Okay. <laughs> that was stupid of me. Okay, so we got Fred Watson. He's 31. Let's try it out then. Okay, so we're going to check out Fred Watson. No records found. Okay. Let's try Alex. Alex Grant, 27. Okay, we're gonna try Alex Grant this time. Let's see if anything pops up. Nothing on him. Patrick Matthews, 24. Okay, let's try Patrick Matthews, I think. I forgot to stay quick. <laughs> Okay, Patrick Matt Okay. It wasn't a match for him either. Taylor Pereira. Alright, this shouldn't be hard to find. Alright, let's check it let's check Taylor then. I wonder if the anything will pop up. Oh, if it is, I'm scared. Okay, Taylor. Okay. Pereira? Is that your spelling name? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Okay, 22. Okay. Doesn't say where he's from. Unless I forgot. <laughs> I need an age, I need a location. Hmm. Is he on Jabber? Some posts have their locations pinned on them. If he got sloppy, you can see where he did it to make the post from. Well, we, we know he's 22. This is your first time using Spark. There's an age usually displayed by the... Yeah, exactly. So he's 22. Let's check his Jabber. Okay, I think we got it now. I found this on his Jabber. It says from Springwood. So let's try that. So he's 22. And we're just gonna, we're just gonna see. Okay. They found six matches with his name. Because apparently there's a bunch of Taylor... I mean, yeah, Taylor Perebras out there. I wonder if I have to type his name back in again. Yep, I do. All right, so Taylor. P. Pereira. 22. Springwood. Let 
Rickards found, oh boy, Taylor Pereira, age 22, Springwood, open in, in gross lewdness and in, in behavior, indecent exposure, and public sexual de indecency. Oh boy, we found him. <laughs> oh Lord, what did you do, Taylor? Well, it says right here, but oh my God, now we gotta go. I got the dirt on Greg. I spoke to Yolanda. I tell him that. The girl he cheated on with? You did it, buddy. So what is it? He's too much of a coward to hurt Anna. He's a lover, not a fighter. Hmm. So... Okay, so Greg is not the violent type, I assume. I guess my theory about Greg making Anna disappear is too far-fetched. He's clean, he's an asshole, but not a criminal. You sure Greg didn't let anything slide? Can you so can your source even be trusted? You're too obsessed with Greg. Defamation is a crime. You're, you're sidetracking us all. Oh, that is not my intention. I just think he's hiding something, that's all. Like you? He's not the only one. You weren't clearly honest with me. He's not the only one. I got nothing to hide. You didn't find anything, did you? If you have something to say, spill it. You are a registered sex offender. You're a pervert. You've been a naughty boy. I just lay down on the line. Shit. I knew it. You found the damn register, didn't you? I knew it looks really bad. I know it looks really bad. I got on Spark being a sex offender as bad as it as it gets. But hear me out, please. Game over. <laughs> you have five seconds. What the hell did you do? You have to believe me. It was an accident. I'll make it quick. I want all the juicy detail, just keep it short. How would I say juicy detail? It ain't juicy, nothing, ain't nothing juicy about that. So, TLDR, it was all a misunderstanding. Someone caught me with my pants down in a public place. End of story. What? I changed my mind to me more. Good enough for me. What is your, what is your pants doing down in the public? Unless you were peeing outside, but... Sorry. Okay, so I was out in a mall and I had like a huge glass of iced tea right before and I had to go and I got a pee real bad. The bathroom was closed on the floor I was on and the next one was really far away. And then. So I went into the stairway and peed there. Then this lady with her kid came through the door. I was exposed. Next thing you know, lawyers were involved and I was charged. So it was an accident. That was your only crime. So it had nothing to do with Anna. That's your only crime. You gotta believe me. You can te technically call me a criminal, but I will never harm anyone, any another person. But I will never harm another another person. But I will never harm another person. Come on, you can trust me. Said said every guilty person ever. I find that hard to believe. It could happen to anyone. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know what to pick. I don't know. I know it sounds weird, but... This is not about me now. I have to follow so many strict rules with the... From the NSFW... And I am practically branded. Do you know how hard it is to find a job? You can always lie about it. It just sounds so bad. It sounds awful. I mean, if he li he can't lie about it because he's on the registry. You can't just lie about it. I just keep in my head low. If I mess up, it's straight to jail for me. I would never do anything remotely illegal. So let's keep this between you and me, eh? Oh, 
I can't guarantee you. It's a real conversation starter. <sighs> it's a real conversation starter. Don't play with me on this. I'm serious. Whatever you say. Josh Chin. Someone walked by me on the sideway and said hello. Freak. Who did I tell? I didn't do anything. I literally just stopped talking to you. Greg. He added me on Jabber. He's definitely pissed. How the hell did he find me? I might have told him about you. I kept you a secret, I swear. God damn it. Oh shit, he added me on his phone. Busted. Greg, oh my god. Greg Taylor, got you now, you sex maniac. What the? Who is this? How the hell you get my number? Shut up and rebound, guy. Shut up, rebound, guy. I'm the one with Anna should be with. You stay out of this. Greg? Oh, here we go. That escal escalated quickly. It's about time you work this out. Oh, here we go. How the hell you get my number? The internet is a resourceful place, especially for finding perverts like you. Wow, from cheating to stalking. Can someone hand me hand him the best boyfriend of the year award? What I gotta do in my private life is none of your business. You're the one who drove her away in the first place. How about I drive my foot up your <laughs> I think you guys are missing the point. This is getting out of hand. Let's take a step back for a bit. Let's take a step back for a bit. Stay out of this. Shut up. You're the one who added me. I am setting this once and for all. There is nothing to settle. Look, man. And I wanted to move on. Why can't you respect that? She should. She would be better with literally anyone else but you. So, Mr. I Can't Keep My Pants Up is somehow an acceptable choice for her? At least I don't have a criminal record. That's a low blow, man. Enough. East popcorn. <laughs> I'm only adding you here to be a witness, so shut it. What the hell did you do to Anna? If you touch her, how can I do anything if I haven't met her yet? If I haven't met her yet? She mentioned that she is meeting someone from Spark on her notebook. Have you ever considered that there are little millions of others lonely single men out there? Of course I did, and I'm starting I'm starting with you. That is not looking that is not working smart. I just want her back. I think Anna would like that. There is a smarter way to do this. We are wasting time here. Now that you made it so clear. Don't we all want the same thing? Same thing. Different reasons. Finally, we are agreeing on something. I am not agreeing with you. You are the one that accused me and threw everyone off. Hey, it's not my fault that she left you. Oh? We are all partly blamed... Partly to be blamed. Get your head in the game, Taylor. Calm down, Greg. What did I have to do anything? I would just sent a phone. Agreed. Debatable. If you're going to be like that, then fine. I can prove that I didn't meet Anna. Fan fucking tastic. Show me my spark messages. It's all there. It would prove that Anna and I never planned to meet. He's telling the truth. I can't say for sure. Did they play to me? Wasn't he trying to schedule her a date or something? No. I want to see it with my own eyes. Can you can you be any more insecure? Her phone. She cleared some data not long ago. And she backed it up on her phone, on her home computer and at work. If I can access it, it will have all the proof I need. Whoa, I think you're onto something. If we do that, we might be able to know who she met on Spark. Damn, that's true. Finally. Focus on what matters. You guys are getting along, that's cute. You guys done fighting? No. Yes. What? 
Not until I see the messages. Jeez, fine. Maybe we can somehow call her office? Ask around for help? Get someone to get her computer or something? What kind of shitty idea is that? I say I will just walk right in and get it done myself. It's going to be easy. Let's walk right in. Let's call her office. Let's just call her office. Excellent. Maybe she has friends that we can trick into getting her computer. We wasted enough time already. I am not playing charades to get something that important. Are you are you doubting me? I'm just proposing alternatives. Should we discuss this? Both of you have good points. I'm done listening to you. I'm just going to walk in and get the job done. Plain and simple. That's too reckless. Let's find a more indirect way in. Just call one of her work friends. I know her better. She has no work friends. And what makes you think you can use her computer so easily? Taylor's got a... Taylor's idea is the best. Greg's idea is the best. I mean, how would you feel working as a co-worker, you know someone, and their significant other comes in and just takes their computer and leave? Wouldn't you, like, be suspicious? Hmm... Let's just go with Taylor. Hopefully I'm making the right choice. Two to one favor. And that's how d democracy works. I feel like we are becoming NSYNC. Fine, be that way. And I'm not playing games with you jokers anymore. Do as you please. I am going anyways. We're making so much progress. I'm not working with the rebound guy. I am going to find Anna by myself. I'm going to back up from her workplace you way, your way. I'll do mine, I swear. If she did end up meeting you, you won't hear about it. You won't hear the end of it. Greg left. Oh, Lord. Greg is going to get arrested. <laughs> oh, wait. Okay, so that just happened. Oh! <laughs> Look, sorry for the outburst. It's not meant for you. I just want to make things right. And I got to do it on my own. Like, if we met under other circumstances, maybe we would have got along. I doubt it, but there is a possibility. There, I said it. So that just happened. That was exciting. That was unexpected. That was really fun. That was unexpected. All I said it was fun. It was you and me both. A lead is a lead. We need, we need to know who Anna is close with on, at work. Do you manage to check her emails? I did. If you can find, if you can read them all, that would be great. Her boss is kind of an asshole. There's a guy who is harassing her. We know about the boss, Tim Farday, and we know about the guy named Merv, who's been asking for her measure, measurement to buy her a gift. Let me start with her boss first. Not the boss. We won't have much leverage. Sure there isn't anyone else? Yeah. His name Merv, right? Harassment. Nailed it. We can use this. Are you up for some blackmail? I'm thinking what you're thinking. What are you implying? Yeah, what are you implying? Use that email against him. Tell him that you are turning him in, threatening him. Make him feel bad. I don't know. Ask him to do your bidding in exchange for the harassment email. I can work with it. Only you can think of something like this. Sounds pretty wrong. <sighs> I don't know. For Anna. I'll do anything. Okay, so, so we're making some progress. Oh. <laughs> I gotta stop. Y'all gotta stop doing that. Oh, it works. <laughs> sorry, sorry. N no need to respond. I uh, just want to try to call Anna's phone, see if it's working. Been trying to get it, and I, I finally did. I guess next is to find her? Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Bye. That was weird. I think we got a message from Ashley. Ashley and Merv. Sorry, last one real quick. You sound a little off. I'm just getting this feeling that there's something you're not telling me. Uh-oh. I just want to remind you that you can tell me anything. You know that, right? No matter what, 
I'll still be here, okay? Feel better soon. It's fine, she's in the car. I decided not to call Victor back. You remember him, right? Your boyfriend, your spark date, that guy from the club, actually not Anna. I, can't, I still gotta pretend to be Anna. Yep. I'm thinking he's not just, he's not, he's just not right for me. Don't feel a connection, you know? He seems nice to me. Yeah, forget about him. What's your type? That made me... <laughs> I'm about to run. I don't know what that was. I thought that was actually... You know what? No, no, no. Am I too picky? Is there something wrong with me? Let's get the hell out of me. I love you just the way you are. Maybe you need to talk to someone. Your problems are not special. I love you too. We should totally get together soon, okay? And this Merv guy. Okay. Okay, this was Anna at the time talking to him. Basically saying he's a perv. Hello, liver boy. Greetings, Merv. Yeah. Is this someone? Anna, where have you been? Everyone's been looking for you. Okay, I'm fine, baby. I need a favor. Wow. You never asked me for anything before. What gifts? Can you restore my phone data for my PC? I need you to get a phone back up for my PC. What? Using another employee's PC is against policy. Why can't you do it yourself? I am caught up with something I need. To, I have to attend a family emergency. It's a secret company assignment. That can't be right. Shit. You are not Anna, aren't you? F, I should have known. Okay, we are done. Oh, boy. Do you want me to leak your dirty emails? I guess you like being known as a pervert. Your freedom message deserves to be published. I guess you like being known as a pervert. Blackmail? Is that what's happening? You know I can get sued for sharing per company secrets, right? If you still want access, Anna's computer, I'm not doing it. What if I post your emails all over Jabber? How about I send your emails to HR? No! <laughs> okay, I'll do it. It's hard to hold this job in economy as it is. I need to get a password reset for her PC, but HR will text her phone to verify. You have to pretend to be Anna, otherwise they will never give me access. I'm a pro. Easier said than done. Now, because I had difficulties earlier trying to get Greg into her apartment. You were doing a bang-up job earlier. Just get this over and done with, okay? Okay, this is Elizabeth, Elizabeth HR. Hey, Anne, got your password reset request, but I didn't see you in today. Is everything okay? I was in and out of the bathroom. I was out with the client just now. You wouldn't recognize me because of my new haircut. Hmm. I didn't know you were assigned to servicing today. I must have missed something. Before I reset your password, can I run something by you first? What is it? You know the report you handed me last week? I finally got to it. And the results? Oh, that. I must have forgotten about it. Oh, yes. I hope everything is in order. Yes, but I do need to clarify something. It says here that you were making an official sexual harassment report against Merv. I knew it. I knew it. Yep, that's the one. Oh, I did. Holy Lord. I brought this up with my manager. He told me to tell you to seriously think about this. Our company can't afford to get into a scandal right now. It's any lewd emails while technically it's reportable. It is one of the sim smaller offenses. That's ridiculous. All right. Hmm. Because we're not technically going to do it unless he doesn't help us. But if he doesn't help us, then we'll report him. 
So if I report him now, and he finds out, he's not going to help us. For sure. So we'll just say all right. His words, not mine. So he suggests you drop the report while he have, while you have a talk with Merv. Put it all behind and he might approve the study leave you've been managing to get. But if you want, you can you can let the report go through, forcing Mr. Faraday's hands just going to upset him. Justice is more important than the report. Anything for the boss, hold back the report. We're just going to hold it back for now. All right. But if you ask me, you gotta you gotta protect your own dignity. But I totally understand where you're coming from. Oops, almost forgot. I just reset your password. See you at the barbecue. Oh Lord, so much is going on. Okay, so I'm gonna leave it right here, guys. This has just been way too much for me to handle right now my brain is like really fried right now so okay so we're talking to Merv now he's getting our password reset and our um hr elizabeth was asking us whether to you know either close the case or continue it i feel like it was necessary in the moment right now to dismiss it because he is technically helping us but if we were to go forward with the with the um complaint I'm pretty sure he would find out and then he wouldn't help us. So I thought in that moment, mm, okay, let me just keep it on the wraps for right now. So if he doesn't do it, I can, you know, what Greg, what Taylor said, blackmail. So I, um, I don't, so Greg must be going to the, her job to go get her computer. I think that's what he's on his way to do. And we haven't heard much from Ashley lately, but we recently did just now. But it's not really giving us any information right now. So I don't know where that's going. We've already talked to Yolanda. She's already spilled the tea on Greg and what they were doing behind Anna's back, whether she knew or didn't know. Either way, he did it. He cheated. He admitted He admitted it. But I don't think Yolanda has anything to do with Anna's disappearance. So we can prob probably rule her out. I'm not sure. But we're just going to see where this goes. But that's it, guys. Thank you all for watching. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.